Today, in 2023, I prepared the must of mods to improve your vanilla weapons. I prepared a lot of really great mods, so don't leave midway today and watch until the end, my friend. Then let's start. First of all, let's look at the 10 milli weapon. We need to change the textures of the 10 milli weapon to high quality. The 10 milli high definition mod is suitable for this. 10 milli high definition mod changes the appearance of Commonwealth's 10 milli weapon to high quality. This changes the 10 milli weapon to higher quality, but it doesn't take away the vanilla feel. That's why I'm recommending 10 milli high definition, which is lower friendly and high quality like this one. Of course, there are many other great retexture mods besides this mod, but the one I think is important is upgrading the quality while maintaining the lower friendly elements. Therefore, I think the Tenley High Definition mod is the most appropriate choice for this part. This time it's animation, I think the Tenley Enems mod would be appropriate for this part. Of course, there is also Cyberpunk 2077 animation, however, it's hard to see the animation is lower friendly. Therefore, it would be better to choose the Tenley Enems mod to upgrade the quality of the animation while maintaining more friendly as it is. Second, let's look at the 44 Magnum. First of all, it would be nice to upgrade the appearance of 44 Magnum through 44 Magnum Retexture. 44 Magnum Retexture will it all but do, specular, and gloss maps to your 44 Magnum weapon, I also chose it because it adds scratches to all textures. Besides, since it's a 4K texture, there was no reason to reject it anymore. For the animation side, using Battlefield 444 Magnum would be perfect. The creator of this animation, Zestifelman, is a person with strong craftsmanship. If you happen to use 44 Magnum through this animation, you will be surprised to learn that 44 Magnum is vanilla. From detailed reloading animations to grenade throwing and moving animations, the quality is excellent. Maybe 44 Magnum's animations will be much upgraded over vanilla. The third is an assault rifle. For assault rifles, the combination of MG69 Dex Replacer and Estevas Reanimation mod is the best. MG69 Dex Replacer mod is a complete replacer of the assault rifle making it function and appear like a proper machine gun. The original assault rifle was a bit of an ugly design and this will offer a new model to look at. However, the MG69 Dex Replacer mod is a great mod that changes your existing ugly assault rifle into something much more tactical. Festiva's Assault Rifle Reanimation mod will be known to those in the know because I have introduced it many times. This mod is a great mod that significantly upgrades the quality of the Assault Rifle animations. Basically it changes the animation of taking out the gun, retracting the gun, changing the animation of the overall Assault Rifle, such as reloading animation, grenade throwing animation, and moving animation. First and foremost, I can't stress too many times that the unique feature of this mod is that it upgrades Vanilla's crappy animations, as you can see in the video. It works well with MG69 Dex Replacer mod, so I recommend using it together. The fourth Vanilla weapon series we need to upgrade is the Institute and Laser Rifle series. The Institute and the Laser Rifle seem to use the same animation, so I'll try to explain them together. I chose the Pillars Institute suit for the appearance of the Institute. Because the Vanilla Institute Rifle uses white and red collars, the red collar seems to be divided according to people's preference. The Pillars Institute suit is a retexture mod that changes the appearance of the Institute to white and black. In addition, it supports 4K textures, so the basic quality is good. For laser rifle retexture, I recommend the Lavish Laser Collection. It's high quality retextures for every single variant of laser gun, from pistol to sniper. First of all, the appearance of the laser rifle is the same as the Vidal. I think metal and green go well together. 
This time it's an animation of the Institute and the laser rifle. Enjoy and judge through the video without having to explain it complicatedly. A shot in the order of single automatic rifle, grenade throw bash, and moving. Beth is the double barrel shotgun. I chose scratch made new double barrel shotgun textures for the textures for the double barrel shotgun, you guys have to admit. This texture mod is a texture mod that expresses the rusty texture or the wood feeling of the handle very well. Since pullout force commonwealth is set in a post nuclear wasteland, how well the rust on each weapon is rendered as key. In this respect, I think scratch made expresses rusty and scratch very well. You will definitely be satisfied. The double barrel shotgun has a reload animation, so I chose this one. I think the shotgun pops out when character open the muzzle and the motion of pulling it out with character's hand is very well done. And the motion when character close the muzzle again seems to be of good quality. Hope you like it now upgrade the double barrel shotgun so you can use it to your heart's content. This is the 6 hunting rifle series. For the hunting rifle, I chose the hunting rifle set which supports 4k textures. And the animations are sure to please you if you use them along with the Battlefield 1 hunting rifle animations. Lastly, let's upgrade the submachine gun. In the case of the submachine gun, there is no animation mode, so I had no choice but to bring only the replacer mode. The mod introducing is the Thompson submachine gun replacer mod. I've curated and selected the best mods for you all the way to the end. I hope you like it. That's it, I'm gonna finish all the mod introduction videos. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.